Hello again. Well, you can tell summer's well and truly here now. Got the nose to tail traffic and we've got the liquid sunshine as well. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that just summer personified? Lovely. So we're taking an alternative route today, make a bit of a change. Why not? I'll explain where we're going in a sec. So we're going to start off by uh, heading up Dawlish Road to Mules Park to go in the entrance by the orchard, see if these travellers have gone yet or if they're still there. Then I want to walk down through the top of Mules Park, through the open air bit, check in on the doggo, make sure he's still safe and sound, our wooden doggo friend, and head down over the bridge. My Amazon delivery arrived yesterday. Do you want to see what it was? Here we go, I'll run you a little clip. So, ready to see what Amazon brought me yesterday? Here we go. Dried mealworms, lovely, one litre. Take some down, smash in. He'll like those. So of course, time permitting, I want to try and get down to Rufus as well. After that, got to pick up a couple of things at Lidl's and then in for an Iceland delivery later on this afternoon. So jobs are good and let's get cracking. Nearly there. Here we go, there's the entrance just up here to the Rowdens. Lovely houses around here as well. So we head down past the orchard, see if we've still got guests. Now if you hear me huffing and puffing a bit this morning, it's not because I've just walked up the hill, it's because I've got my light fleece on. But despite the uh, weather, it's really, really warm. I wish I hadn't brought it now, but I have. So there we go, we stuck with it. At least for the time being. Well, there's some sort of van up the end there, whether or not it's a uh, traveller's or it's someone working on the orchard, I don't know. But the gate's open. There's the gate that's usually closed. Swings across there. As you can see, nothing to attach it to. Orchard's looking fairly nice though. Can't say there's been any damage done to this one. Smash it. Here we go, top end. Like I say, this is, uh, you can see where they've been, because you've got the uh, tracks, vehicle tracks, either side. This was like a very thin, very thin foot track last time I was up here. This is definitely where they came. They came along anyway. Yep, following these tracks, you can see they've come alongside the uh, pathway. And look at that. I wouldn't have thought that would still be there, but it is. Wooden Doggo, still wearing his bandana. I don't think it was Gary. I think it was Gary anyway, gave him. Smash in. Good boy. Glad you're safe and sound. I'm well, pleased to report no sightings as yet. And the tracks seem to have finished now. So whether or not they were down in this area, I don't know. It looks like they've moved on. Just kind of make out a set of tracks going along the side of these trees. Oh, I see someone's set up a great big tent up there. Could that be them? Yeah, there they are. Now on the trees, right, I'm not going to stop filming now. You can keep filming because I don't particularly want someone saying, don't film us and snatching my phone. But there they is. Come around there and gone up there. Here we go. Pause that if you want. Notice to quit. An authorised occupation of Eastcliff Park. You're encamped on otherwise occupying land owned by Teambridge District Council. Therefore, you must remove your vehicles, caravans, belongings from the council land immediately. If you remain on the site overnight tonight, the council will take legal action. That's the 29th of the 7th. Jolly good. Oh, there we go.
there's the observation deck from a different angle. And walking down over Norman's Bridge or Ski Bridge, dependent on how particularly romantically linked to Timothy you want things to be. <laughs> Just missed a train heading away from us, but hopefully we'll see a few others as we'll make our way along to see Rufus with his mealworms. Lovely. First proper train of the day, and you can probably hear the wind blocker is off. Although I've just said I'll turn the wind blocker off, when I walk back, I'll be walking into the wind just behind me at the moment, so I have to put it back on again. Never mind, a little bit of natural noise for you in this last few clips. Lovely. I hope it's not quite so windy tomorrow, but well, it's not supposed to be anyway, because I want to bring the uh, drone down and do a little bit of footage of the slippage from above. Right, let's go and see if Rufus likes his uh, mealworms. Sure he will. Happy train! Lovely. He's here. I've just seen him fly off. Right, let's get the mealworms out. There we go, there's his mealworms. There he is there in the centre. I'll just step back a bit. There he is. That's the mealworms. Of course, he's just behind the uh, other things. You can't see him pick one up. Don't drop him, mate. Oh, he goes down to pick it up. Loads in front, but he goes for the one he's dropped. He's flitting around in the bushes now. So we'll see you again tomorrow, mate. Thanks for showing your face to us. Right, wind blocker back on. Hopefully you can't hear that wind. And if you can't, let's jump. I think I'm gonna be zipping up my fleece in a minute. Blimey, so much for August. Wind blocker and no over wind blocker. I'm sure you can hear this. Blimey! There we go, that was the uh, seawall. And uh, despite the three high room entrance vans, I only saw a couple of people up there up by Spray Point and didn't seem to be doing very much. But what do I know? Hey, what do I know? At least they're doing something. Yes. Just look on the positive side. Shall we pop over to the Lido for a then and now? Why not? Why not indeed? Right, gonna poke our head through the uh, window there and line things up. Okay, so opening day. Not the very opening day when it first opened, but the opening of the season in 2010, 5th of May. Here we go. A little bit busier back then. And in the comments of Facebook where I found that picture, people making the comment of back when the Lido was fun. And I totally agree. What they mean is back when you paid once to go in for the day and you could come out, you could go to the beach, you could go home, you could go back in again in the afternoon. You just paid once rather than all this regimented only X amount of people in there and you only stay for two hours and all that. Back when the Lido was fun. Right, just gonna pop up to our diddles now and then head up home. Lovely. Even got cars there trying to get out of town. It's so jammed up now.
So I'll try and go this lovely morning in the glorious sunshine. There's absolutely no liquid sunshine whatsoever and no wind. Lovely. That bus is 22 is off to Dawlish Warren. Lovely. All single fares, maximum two pound. So jump on and off you go. Lovely. That chap disappearing off, that's my mate who lived in Keats house that I talk about next to the King Billy. I say we used to look out his window. That's who he is. So he's seen the videos, loves him. Excellent. Cheers mate. Wear the spoons for Barry, who is due to be back within a week. Lovely. And of course, as my videos are exactly one week behind whatever day you're watching them on when they're released, there's a very good chance Barry might already be down here. I might be chatting to him before this video goes live. Lovely. Anyway, here's Liddles. Some bits and bobs are needed. See you on the other side. There we go. Two fairly large, heaviest bags. But that's okay. That's all good. And with that, we'll leave it for today. Like I say, I've got plans to use the drone tomorrow, weather permitting. Um, yeah, all good. See you then, hopefully. Thanks for joining me today. Take care. Bye.